This is Brian Atlanta Hot Tub Center and Tub Talk 101. And today by popular demand, we are going to give you the outline, okay? We're not gonna tell you how to do it, but we're gonna give you the outline on how to set up your electrical for your hot tub. You know, we are gonna be doing this kind of toward the Sundance brand just because, or and the Hydropool Swim Spot brand, just because those are the brands that uh, we sell. But you guys know we restore and refurbish all these different spas. So you can use a lot of what I'm saying as an outline for all the different brands, the amperages, the amperages may change, but the process itself is pretty close to the same in all the different brands. But again, so Sundance specifically. So if you came in and you bought a Sundance 880 series Optima or Cameo or a 780 series Hamilton or 90% of the Sundance hot tubs out there, we're gonna suggest that you put it on 60 amps. Um, the hot tub can run on 50 amps, but when you run on 50 amps and uh, you have all the components and everything running, the heater will turn off. And that isn't normally a problem in summer, but in winter, it can be a little bit of an issue because you're really trying to retain the heat and keep the hot tub warm while you're sitting out there in the cold. So um, here we go, okay? 60 amp service for Sundance hot tubs. Again, I'm not telling you how to do it. I'm just giving you an outline today. You need to refer to your electrician to make sure that you are following the codes, okay? The electrical codes, all right? So you've got a 60 amp service in your main panel inside your home, okay? That is a non-GFCI 60 amp 220 breaker. You are gonna run 6.3 with ground. That is two number six hots, a number six neutral and a 10 gauge copper ground, okay? You can buy all this at Home Depot or Lowe's. You're gonna run that out into a sub panel. The sub panel will be on the outside of your home. So you're gonna go from the main panel, whether that's in your garage, laundry room, basement, you're gonna run it up in the ceiling, okay? Six, three with ground, out to your sub panel, okay? Your sub panel is gonna have a 60 amp GFCI breaker in it. And from the sub panel, okay, you're actually for Sundance. Now this is different for different brands. So you need to make sure that you get your electrical schematics, that you go over it with your dealership and your electrician and you follow the correct codes, okay? This is a little bit different for Sundance because we have GFCI protection in the software on the circuit board. Um, so you only need to run two number six hots and a number 10 copper ground from your 60 amp GFCI sub panel on the outside of your home to the hot tub. Now, everybody likes to ask the question, well, how long does my conduit need to be? Well, that's a tough question for a salesman or a dealership to answer because we don't know where you're putting the hot tub on the property. But what we can tell you is once you reach either the front left or front right, you'll have this little prefabricated cutout guys and let's go look around the showroom right each side if you're looking at a capri so it's a rectangle but you see where this top side control panel is all right you locate this top side control panel when you locate that you know this is the front of the hot tub and then you've got a cutout on each side on the left and the right of the front panel of your Sundance hot tub now you can run it either or, right? Depending on how you're situating the hot tub, the right might be better, the front, the, 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 the right might be better, the left might be better, right? That's really depends on your specific project and where you're putting the actual hot tub now, okay? So again, we can't tell you exactly how long to make that conduit or that wire from your sub panel to your hot tub, but what we can tell you is once you reach the front right and the front left corner, once you reach this circle cutout, we need an additional six feet. Additional six feet of wire to go from here to the electrical panel, okay? Now, some of you may be thinking, why would you need a whole six feet? You know, you're probably right. It's probably more like four feet and a couple of inches or what have you but it's good to have that extra couple of feet to make sure that you're not short, right? Because if you're short, you can't splice 220 volts of electricity. So if you're short, you gotta re rerun that entire conduit. But if you're long, you're just cutting it back a little bit, right? So I always say, better be safe than sorry. This is Brian Atlanta Hot Tub Center and an overview and outline on how to run your hot tub electrical. Thank you.